Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a comparison with two Mossberg shockwaves. Over here we've got the 590M, the M stands for magazine, and over here we've got the 590S. And what they did with the 590S was make it feed, fire, and eject mini shells. And you can stagger them, which is what I have in the magazine tube right now. This has an MSRP of 623, the 590M has an MSRP of $657, so a $34 difference between these. 15-inch barrel and a 14.3-inch barrel. Interesting concept with both. Both have advantages and disadvantages. We're going to talk about that. Let's go ahead and shoot these. Every other shot will be a light recoiling mini shell. Two and three quarter mini shell. And the mini shell did not eject fully. And that should be it. That may have been user error. I'm not sure. But when you use the two and three quarter inch mini shells, very light recoil. If you go with just that, eight plus one capacity, which is not bad. But this is even better, 10 plus one. And I currently have 10 rounds, not one loaded currently in the chamber. But as I mentioned, a 15 inch barrel has the same bird's head grip. Let's go ahead and take some shots of this. Woo. And a little flinch at the end, how about that? But they both have the hand strap right there, same forehead, beaded um, front sight and a fixed cylinder bore choke. Both are pretty nice models. I tell you, the Shockwaves, Mossberg does a great job with the Shockwave model. So here we have a battle between the Shockwaves. What are the advantages of each? Well, I already mentioned, this will take mini shells. Um, I have not have, that, ha have had that happen before where one hung up a little bit. That's why I'm starting to think that it is user error. This has been extremely reliable. And the fact that you could put a 20 round magazine in there is pretty unbelievable in my opinion. That's what the 20 round mag looks like. Double stack, very well built, weighs over four pounds, a lot of ammo, and the Shockwave 590M firearm. It all depends on what you want. If you had to choose one, I have to believe most people would go with the 590S, 5 plus 1, with the availability of using mini shells. But over here, 10 rounds, $34 more, according to the MSRP. The barrel length looks to be about that much different. Let me load it up and we'll turn the camera around. Here's the magazine for the 590M. You have to get high brass loads because when you insert them, you need to push down. If you have the low brass, it'll hang up on the brass, making it more difficult. This is, this is an eight shot target load made by Bio Ammo. I talked about that when I reviewed the 590M. Bio Ammo, it's biodegradable. People said, well, are you a climate changer? Are you a uh, a tree hugger? No, not at all. But I've been picking this stuff up for 12 bucks a box, which is really good. So maybe I'll be a tree hugger when I'm at the store <laughs> to pick that stuff up. But anyways, biodegradable. No actual plastic. I don't care. Here we go. This is the 590M and let's see how it goes. Not bad, not bad at all. The same loads are loaded in the 590S. A little bit lighter, a little bit lighter. Shorter barrel, a little bit lighter. Both have hand straps, same forend, same beaded front sight, same dual extractors. 34 difference in the price.
And that is all five. So 10 rounds were shot. Both performed very well. Both barrels are fairly hot. But I love the Shockwave models and I think they did a great job with this. So if I had to choose one, it would be tough because ever since I got this, which was just two weeks ago, I, I really fell in love with the capacity with the magazine fed shotgun. I dig magazine fed shotguns. A lot of people like the magazine tube. I do as well, but I also dig magazine fed and 10 rounds is no joke. But if I had to get rid of one, which one would it be? I'd probably get rid of the 590M and hold on to the 590S because I like the adaptability that this offers for home defense purposes. If it was just for range fund, I'd choose the 590M all day long. How often can you shoot 20 rounds consecutively without having to reload. Put it right there and that's what the 20 round mag looks like. And it, it has been reliable. I have to tell you, it really has. So that's my choice. Which of these Mossberg Shockwaves would you go with? Would you go with the more adaptable 590S or the magazine fed, higher capacity 590M for magazine? If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe